Hello and welcome to episode 6 of my How to Use Todoist series. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to set up recurring tasks and at the same time show you how to set up a routines project with three nested projects. So we're going to put a few of the skills that we've learned over the last few uh, days into practice with a wonderful idea of separating out your routines from your main projects. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is set up a new project and we're going to call this one routines and I always give my routines folder a green label. I have no idea why I do that but I always do. Now I like to put my routines folder underneath the tickler file and within that routines folder we need to set up three nested projects daily, weekly and monthly. So let's start this one with daily and because it's routines I'm going to give that the green label and indent it once because it's a nested project and for some reason that's dropped into home. By the way if this ever happens all you need to do is just grab hold of the hamburger icon at the left hand side of the project and just move it up and there you go you can see it goes underneath uh, my uh, routines folder. So add the second project which would be weekly and again colour that green and adent add a project. Now I'm not going to indent this one, I'm just going to show you how you can do this again. Even when you've just set up a project you can use the hamburger icon and move it up underneath daily and let's just add one more which would be monthly and again I'm going to give that the colour green. Right, so now we have three, one main project, routines, and we've got daily, weekly, and monthly um, nested projects. So let's go into daily. Now, one thing I have to do every single day is I've got to take my dog for a walk. So, take dog for walk, and I do that at home, and I want to do that every day. Now, one of the fantastic things about Todoist, they make this really easy. All you have to do for every day, or any, for the word every, just type in EV, and I can type in every day. Hit return, and what you'll notice now is up here, we have this rotating arrows, and that indicates that it is a recurring task. So in this case, uh, today is the first day, and then every day. Uh, the next thing I have to do not every day but three times a week is take the garbage out. So let's create the task take garbage garbage out. Again that's something I do at home and that has to be done every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday here. So that's EV Tu th and Sunday. Hit return and what you'll notice now is uh, two days left and every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. That will only show in my today list on a Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. Now in this case because I've put Sunday at the end of the, my uh, schedule that's going to mean next Sunday not today. So if you wanted to include today you would put Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday because when I'm recording this it is a Sunday afternoon. Um, so those are like daily tasks. Let's think of a weekly task now for me, a weekly task would be to send out the word of day file. I do that at my computer and I send this to all my uh, language students and I do that only on a Sunday. So EV Sun, meaning every Sunday, and that's coming up today. And something else that I would do is. Uh, check work bag for materials uh, make sure that I've got all my returners materials in so that's another home task and I'm going to I also do that every Sunday so those would be examples of how I want to put in recurring tasks that would come around weekly now monthly uh, of course, every month I have to issue my invoices, so send out invoices, and that's done at my computer, and I do that 
every 30th, every 30. So when you're going to put the, a, a date of the month, you use the number without the TH or the RD. So every 30. Look what happens when I click there. Uh, at the time of recording, next Saturday is the 30th of January, and therefore it's come up as Saturday. Now, what happens, let's say I decide I want to start a big exercise program uh, in February. So let's go back to my daily routines task, and I want to exercise every day throughout February. So that's 28 days, maybe 29, if it's a leap year. So exercise, now exercise is a verb, so I can just leave that one uh, as I want it to be. I always would exercise at home, so we can put home. And I want to start this on the 1st of February and then do it every day. So, every day, so every day, EV day, from 1st February. And look what happens. My task will not show in my today list now until the 1st of February. And I think this is a really, really, really good uh, idea from Todoist because if you have a an idea during the day, you put it into your inbox and you think when you get home and you do your mini review and your processing and you think, no, I don't want to start that now, I'll start that in six months' time, then you can actually set it as a recurring task to start from, for example, 1st of June. Really, really clever idea. And another way of doing this is for weekly, we can put in um, send out... Um, book ideas to John and I don't want to do this this is not actually a routine so we'll, we'll do that so let's say I want to write a book but I haven't got time to start writing it now but I will start writing it on the 1st of April which would be the beginning of the second quarter so uh, write I now, because this, I'm going to set this as a recurring task, and I don't like to say write book, because that would sound like I have to write a whole book in a day, I'm going to put continue writing great new book. <coughs> and I'm going to do that on my computer. But I don't want to do this one until the 1st of April. So every day from 1st of April. You don't need to use capitals. And there you go, I've got my 1st of April task set up. So there you go, this is how you set up recurring tasks, is also how you set up a routines folder, which I strongly recommend, because that takes out the daily or the weekly or the monthly mundane tasks out of your main project list, so that when you're focused on work, you're not going to be looking at routines which you know you have to do. Now, there is another way that you can use to do recurring tasks, which is make the use of templates, which I'm going to show you how to do in another episode. But that's it for today. I hope this episode has proven useful for you. Of course, if you have anything that you'd like me to cover in Todoist, please leave a message in the notes section below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want more updates. As I said before, I am trying to post at least three videos a week so that uh, I get through the whole of Todoist before the end of January. But that's it for today. Thank you very much for listening and watching, and I will see you in the next episode.